kept you waiting, huh? These words always send shivers down my spine, and they belong to the man with the same code name as the man who sold the world, Solid Snake. This video is long overdue because the story ended back in 2015. But without further ado, let's dive into the story of Metal Gear. First, let's dive into the first game chronologically, Metal Gear Solid 3. This game starts in 1964 with a man known as Naked Snake. He is tasked with extracting a Russian scientist named Sokolov. Snake begins to trek through the Russian jungle until he finds his target location, an abandoned factory. He sneaks through the factory and gets Sokolov. They head back to the extraction location until Snake spots a metal behemoth in the distance. Sokolov informs Snake that Volgan, the colonel of Russia, well, of the Russian army, was forcing him to work on it, and he explains that it was a mobile nuclear launcher. Snake informs the colonel about this, his friendly colonel, not Colonel Volgan, and continues to extract Sokolov. However, gets ambushed by a group of six super soldiers called, that are called the Cobras. The boss, she got this name because she was a living legend in World War II. The woman, practically raised Snake, is among them. She takes Sokolov and incapacitates Snake. While Snake is healing himself, he notices a nuclear explosion that the Cobras detonated in the distance. A few hours later, the President of Russia informs the President of this, claiming the warhead was American, and informing that the boss was betraying America. And seven days later, Naked Snake is deployed back to Russia, and is tasked with destroying the metal behemoth, killing the boss, and extracting Sokolov. Snake fulfills his mission, and earns him the title of Big Boss. Now we're heading into Metal Gear Solid V. During the events of Ground Zeroes, Big Boss embarks on a mission to rescue Paws after discovering she had survived the battle at the end of Peace Walker. Now, you may be wondering what Peace Walker is, so let me actually do this real quick. The year is 1974 in Costa Rica. An unknown army of well-equipped soldiers has taken over the defenseless country. The soldiers have also brought along a nuclear warhead named Peace Walker to set off their last nuclear warhead for deterrence and demonstrate their power with the perfect deterrence. Snake, as he runs the mercenary unit Military San Fronteras, which is Soldiers Without Borders, he makes this army because he betrayed America and wanted to run his own army, an army without borders. Paz was an asset, a double spy even, who betrayed Snake. She was thought to have died at the end of Peace Walker. But she ended up surviving. Ground Zeroes, the standalone game that is a prequel to Metal Gear Solid 5, is the story of how Big Boss saved Chico and Paws. Chico is Paws' younger brother. During the events of Ground Zeroes, Big Boss embarks on a mission to rescue Paws after discovering she had survived the battle at the end of Peace Walker. Chico is also discovered to have been captured after he, he himself attempts to rescue Paws after hearing about her discovery. In the meantime, a nuclear inspection is going to take place back at Mother Base, which was allowed by Huey Emmerich, a scientist. So Snake now has to rec rescue Chico and Paws from Camp Omega. After rescuing Chico and Paws, Big Boss then heads back to Mother Base. Soon he discovers that Paws has a bomb implanted in her, and orders the medic on board to remove it. After successfully removing the bomb, Big Boss continues on his way back to Mother Base, only to discover it as being attacked by an unknown enemy force. They use the nuclear expression as a smokescreen to enter Mother Base. After rescuing few men in his second command, Kazuhira, Kazuhira Miller, Snake retreats from that of destroyed Mother Base. Soon, the pause regains consciousness, gets on her feet, and opens the door of the helicopter, telling Snake that there was a second bomb implanted in her. As she jumped, Snake attempted to stop her, but was unable to, as she exploded mid-drop, and the medic jumped in front of Big Boss to cover him from the explosion. Soon the helicopter begins losing control and collides with the pursuing enemy chopper. Soon, Big Boss, Miller, and a third unknown person are sent to a hospital where Snake falls into a coma for nine years and thus begins the events of Phantom Pain. The, stories detail the story deals with Big Boss's quest for revenge and those who destroyed Mother Base, along with the foundation on Diamond Dogs. Now, these next are going to be really like big spoilers, so if you don't want to listen to any, just click off the video. Hospital Raid now, the hospital raid was whenever Snake awakened from his coma. Looking around as the nurses are managing the room, one of the nurses is about to leave. Snake groans and catches the nurse's attention. She gets closer to Snake to inspect him and is shocked. Then she runs out of the room, screaming for the doctor. Snake then loses consciousness again. A few days later, Snake awakens to the doctor's voice, who is instructing Snake to move his head around. Snake does as he, as he says, and then the doctor proceeds to explain that Snake has been a coma for nine years. 
Snape begins to come into a panic, and the doctors order the nurse to inject Snape with a sedative. Snape falls into slumber once again. Several more days pass, and Snape wakes up once again to the doctor standing in front of him with a board set up. The doctor begins telling Snape about his injuries that he received in the accident, saying that there were over a hundred foreign bodies inside of him, most of them being removed. The doctor then says that there are shrapnel that they cannot remove, one being in Snape's heart and the other being on his forehead. The doctor then places an x-ray of Snape's upper body and telling Snape to look down. Snape does so, noticing his left arm is missing and begins to panic again. The doctor calls for the nurse and he injects Snape with a, with a sedative again, causing Snape to fall unconscious. A week passes, and Snake awakens the nurse and the doctor arguing in another language, and then the doctor approaches Snake, stating that he shouldn't have awoken, and now his face must be changed immediately. After, her, after some time, the surgery was complete, and the doctor begins removing Snake's bandages and remarks that his face is healed nicely. The doctor then tells Snake that as of now, his name is Ahab. A mysterious figure then appears into the room, grabbing the nurse standing behind the doctor and begins choking her, eventually killing her. The doctor grabs a photo of Snake from nine years ago and she knows, shows Snake the old photos. The doctor puts the photos down and grabs a mirror to show Snake one final look at himself. As the doctor is holding the mirror, the mysterious figure begins choking him too. The doctor attempts to fight, pulling out his gun, but he kicks Snake from the bed, and as Snake is on the floor, the doctor is killed and drops his weapon, landing in front of Snake. The assassin walks away and makes a call, saying that a patient in another bed saw her. She hangs up and gets slowly walked towards Snake and notices him reaching out for his handgun. She picks up the weapon and aims at a snake before being insulted by a bandaged man. She throws him off, pulls out a knife, and begins walking towards Snake and the other patient. The bandaged man throws objects at her, including a jar of alcohol, which breaks. Now the assassin is covered in it. The assassin throws a knife at the man, hitting his right shoulder. The assassin then makes her way to Snake and grabs him. She lifts him up to his bed and begins choking him. Just then before she can kill him, the bandaged man finds a light and throws it onto her. The assassin bursts into flames from the alcohol that was on her and she starts screaming in pain as she moves across the room. The assassin makes one more attempt at Snake's life, but the bandaged man finds another jar of alcohol and throws it at her, causing more flames to erupt from her. The assassin then jumps out of the window, presumably dying. Snake lifts his arm, and sees now he has a prosthetic arm as white petals are gliding through the air. The bandaged man then goes on to say it is time to call. Or go, calling Snake Ahab. The man reveals himself to be Ishmael, and he's been watching Big Boss during his coma, injecting Big Boss with a dose of dioxin, in the hopes of helping him move. Ishmael proceeds to lead Big Boss to the hospital, but not before coming across the third child, who floats through the ceiling, and after he disappears, flame, flames appear in the elevator, and an explosion occurs, throwing Big Boss and Ishmael back. Big Boss's arm was also dislocated when he landed on the ground. The man on fire suddenly appears from the flames, making his way towards Big Boss, but is driven away when the fire suppression system is activated, with the man seemingly evaporated. Big Boss and Ishmael regain their composure and continue down another way out of the hospital. Ishmael spends the next 20 minutes teaching Big Boss the basics of stealth and on-field medical care, fixing Big Boss's arm in the process. Sneaking past masked men who were, killed any, who were killing anyone residing in the hospital in the search for Big Boss, the duo were eventually found, but he saved due to the man on his fire's sudden appearance. Driving away, the man with the, with the use of the sprinkler system Ishmael and Big Boss continue to check through the hospital, making their way to the hospital entrance. Ishmael distracts the masked man in the room, giving Big Boss a chance to sneak out, but not before another appearance by the man on fire and the third child, who begins attacking the masked soldiers. The two escape, only to be attacked by debris launched by the man on fire. The vehicle is forced off the road, and the two are knocked down in the ensuing crash. Snake ends up rescuing Ocelot and, and Miller. They then begin to rebuild their army without boulder or um border and they call it mother base diamond dogs they're on a quest for revenge by killing um skull face and his army they end up figuring out about sahalanthropus a metal gear that can dispose of nukes and detonate them metal gear solid one solid snake the clone of big boss a soldier who infiltrates a nuclear weapons facility to neutralize the terrorist threat from Foxhound, a renegade special forces unit led by supernatural soldiers like the Cobras. The leader of the terrorist force, as Snake figured out, was his brother, his clone, that was made with the recessive genes of Big Boss. Solid Snake was a clone of Big Boss, but he had the dominant genes, considering the fact that he looked so much like him. Snake liberated the hostages and stopped liquid, liquid snake, 
and his terrorists from launching a nuclear strike. Metal Gear Solid 2. Four years after Metal Gear Solid 1, Solid Snake is deployed onto a tanker. Ocelot, Liquid Ocelot, is rumored to be on there with another Metal Gear. It is Snake's mission to destroy that Metal Gear and upload the pictures of the Metal Gear to the internet. Ocelot destroys the tanker with Snake on it. After figuring out that Snake was on there, and as Snake struggles to fight in the water, Otacon frantically calls him as the screen turns to black. Two years later, a young man known as Raiden takes place in Solid Snake. The same colonel that was assisting Solid Snake is now assisting Raiden. Raiden pairs up with Solid Snake, and they both have to figure out where Ocelot is, attempt to eliminate him, and any Metal Gears on board. They meet Solid as Snake. Solid does Snake. Solid does Snake was a clone of Big Boss, the third one. He was stronger than Solid Snake, and he was made to be a super soldier. Raiden ends up defeating him with swords, and then the pair destroy Metal Gear Ray. Well, not destroy. Metal Gear Solid 4, set five years after the events of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Solid Snake is now very old. The story centers around a prematurely aged Solid Snake, now known as Old Snake, as he goes on one last mission to assassinate his nemesis Liquid Snake, who now inhabits the body of his former henchman Revolver Ocelot under the guise of Liquid. Snake ends up figuring out that he is prematurely aging, not because of the fox dye, a chemical that was injected into him during the first installment of the game, Metal Gear Solid 1, to destroy Liquid. But whenever they cloned him off of Big Boss, they had him prematurely age, so no other PMC company could take him and use him for their own. Snake ends up eliminating his rival, Revolver Ocelot. Snake retires and ends the Metal Gear Solid story right there. I hope you guys like this story. I This is like my first kind of these videos, so if like my voice is a little choppy, it's because I'm using this weird like sound recorder thingy, so yeah. I'm Crazy Kid 14. Later. A man fires a rifle for many years, and he goes to war. And afterwards, he comes home, and he sees that whatever else he might do with his life, build a house, love a woman, change his son's diaper, he will always remain a jarhead.